Uh, hi, my name is Kayla, and I'll be doing chapter 8.4. Um, to start off, data signatures, digital signatures is the authentication of data such as messages, files, and documents. One party can send a signed message to another party by following the condition below. The receiver can verify the claimed identity of the, same, the sender. The sender cannot later renounce or change their mind about the contents of the message and the receiver cannot possibly have prepared the message themselves. Um, for symmetric key signatures, the key distribution requires a secure and strong connection between the key distribution server and the IoT nodes. Um, for symmetric cryptography, one approach is to have a central authority that knows everything whom everyone trusts. If person A is trying to send a plain text message encrypted to person B, the central authority will see the message from person A, decrypt it, and send it to person B. Person A in the scenario, uh, the figure below, would be Alice sending to person B, being Bob. Uh, the central authority in the situation would be BB, which is the big brother, decrypting uh, the message and also being sent the encrypted message. Um, for public key signatures, public key cryptography can provide signatures to only one user that has the private key. Public key verifies that the user's identity is secure. Is public key verifies the user's identity to ensure that the user is the only one with the key. It makes sure that the user's integrity is protected and nothing is altered. For signing, users sign the message by encrypting with their own key user then attaches their signature to the message. Uh, for verification, users can verify the message by decrypting the signature from the signer's public key. Um, message Digest is a cri cryptographic one-way hash function that takes an arbitrarily long piece of plain text and computes a fixed length bit string from it. Message digests can be used to speed up digital signature algorithms. It is faster at computing a piece of plain text compared to a public key encryption algorithm. Priority of message digest functions are secure hash algorithm one and MD5. For secure hash algorithm one, it processes input data in a 512 bit block and generates a 160 bit message digest. For MD5, it is a message digest hashing algorithm that processes data in a 512-bit strings, um, is then broken down into 16 word and then composed, which is composed of 32 bits each. The output from MD5 is 128-bit message digest value. The goal of message digest function is to produce digests that appear to be random or unique in order to be considered cryptographically secure. Uh, for the birthday attack, a birthday attack is a type of crypt cryptographic attack that exploits the mathematics behind the birthday problem in the theory, in the probability theory. So the question that is asked by mathematics is how many students do you need in a class before the probability of having two people with the same birthday exceed over half? In uh, the theory states, that that would be 23 students. Given the formula n uh, multiplied by n minus 1 divided by 2, we can form 23 students multiplied by 23 minus 1, which is 22, divided by 2 would equal 253 different pairs, each of which has a probability of 1 out of 365 of being hit. And the question I'm going to ask is, what is the main goal of message digest functions?